friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a soft intumescent cataract rex is ran out in this case let us observe this surgery this is a totally unedited surgery and you are watching each and every step of the surgery this is the main incision on the posterior aspect of the limbus at around 11 o'clock this is a side port on the right side of the main incision about 3 o'clock hours away and this is another side port on the left side of the main incision about 2 o'clock hours away and now an air bubble is injected to fill up the anterior chamber beneath this air bubble tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule when we apply the dye underneath an air bubble over dry capsule the staining is immediate now the dye is washed out with bases and then 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is used to fill up the anterior chamber and now my plan is to do a two staged rexis this is a 26 case bent needle a C flap is raised in this way and the C flap is converted into a small rexis we can call this a mini rexis the mini rexis has been very small in this case because the convexity of the anterior capsule was very high and if I go try to go to little periphery it may run out and now I'm squeezing the cortical matter bringing it to the central area and aspirating so far everything is going as planned but observe the mistake here I have aspirated cortex from all around but the sub incisional cortex is not aspirated the capsule is elevated at that area and now my plan is to enlarge this mini rexis into an optimum sized one a small cut is made at around 8.30 o'clock with vana scissor uterata forceps is taken again the capsule attack is held and now watch very carefully so far so good now here suddenly it goes to periphery and it has gone to far periphery it is irretrievable if we pull it vigorously we will just do jonular dialysis so I've taken a vana scissor I've made a cut now I use some visco to push the capsule attacks downward and now take the iterator again to complete the rexis and now what to do should we continue with FECO or should we convert the case to manual small incision cataract surgery well the choice is yours my strategy is if the nucleus is soft as in this case I will continue with FECO this cataract is very soft it will come out just by aspiration I don't have to even try to chop the nucleus into fragments I'll just aspirate and it is done so if the cataract is so soft it is not a problem to continue with FECO but if the cataract is hard particularly if it is a brown or black cataract please 
consider converting to SICS. I usually convert to SICS if the cataract is very hard and the rexis has run out to far periphery. And now the rest of the surgery is as usual. Cortical cleanup is being done with the help of this Simcoe cannula because it is much safer than bimanual irrigation aspiration when the rexis has gone to far periphery. Bimanual irrigation aspiration can be done but we should do it with very much care. We should decrease the bottle height and then do it very slowly. With Simcoe I get more control in such cases and you may also find it safer in your surgeries. And now the anterior chamber and capsular bag is filled up with visco. I am going to use a B cartridge so I need to enlarge the main wound to about 3 millimeter. So the 2.8 millimeter wound is now 3 millimeter. And now a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens is being implanted. The leading haptic goes to the capsular bag. The trailing haptic is dialed with the left hand instrument as placed in the capsular bag. The haptics are about 90 degree away from the point where the rexis has run out. And now we must dedicate some quality time to remove the visco. This is irrigation by the Simco. Actually this is double irrigation. Irrigation is occurring and uh, we are flashing out some bases through the aspirating port and by this double irrigation most of the visco comes out and now I take the irrigation aspiration cannuli the irrigation cannula is used first irrigates the anterior chamber Now irrigation and aspiration is being used together to remove the visco. Now I mean I have two mode to remove some lens fibers sticking to the under surface of the anterior capsular rim. So the case is nicely done so far. Though a complication has occurred, we have managed it very nicely. See the lens is nicely centered. So, whenever a complication occurs from that point, from that moment, we must take extra care so that we can manage the case beautifully and the patient's visual regain is not affected. And now the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of the stab incisions. And then this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber with pure BSS. The anterior chamber is nicely formed so that the intraocular pressure is on the higher side of the normal. The integrity of all the wounds are checked with a cotton tipped Janssen bard. Few drops of moxie is applied over the corneal surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Always remember that complication can occur at any moment. We must take extreme care from that moment so that we can complete the case beautifully and patient gets as good vision as if the complication would not have occurred.